very sorry. Queefine O'Quayline joins us from Leinster House. I'm sorry, uh, Queefine. <laughs> I was uh, just a bit ahead of myself there. Thanks very much indeed um, for, for talking to us, I suppose. In a kind of a way, you started all this with your question to the Taoiseach about the dinner uh, at Druid's Glen, um, Queefine O'Quayline. Um, but I suppose a lot of the public will be saying, uh, well, we now know the date of the election. It's not too far away. Let's have the issues discussed. Let's get on with it. Uh, let's focus on the formation of the government that comes out of that and put some of this political point scoring aside. Yes, well, while I welcome the setting of the actual date for the election, I have it to say that it could have been and should have been a sooner date than that. This Taoiseach should have gone to the park and we should have had the election three weeks tomorrow on the 11th of February, not the 11th of March. And remember, this is the day that we've been told that some 100,000 of our people will be forced to emigrate over the next two years. And the Irish people, quite frankly, are absolutely sickened by the carry-on of this Taoiseach and indeed of this Fianna Fáil-led government. There, there can be no doubt that Brian Cowan felt that that he could carry off yet another political stroke and make fools of the people. But he has clearly failed spectacularly in this instance. And the Green Party at last found some backbone, at least to stand up to him. And it's an awful pity they didn't show that backbone when the country was being sold out economically to the IMF and when a series of uh, absolutely outrageous budgets have been imposed upon each and every one of us. So in terms of the politics of this, then, a good day for the Greens? No, I would say this is a very momentary glimpse of what they should have been doing all along, standing up to this Fianna Fáil-led government, standing up to this Taoiseach, because, you know, they have been responsible for so much that has contributed to the serious demise in the standard of living of people right across the board, up and down the length and breadth of this country. And I think that the, the, this government, the Greens and Fianna Fáil combined, have been an abject failure, and both of them, I believe, will secure their just deserts from the electorate come the 11th of March. And what about the argument, Dennis, the argument made by the Greens tonight, we heard it from John Gormley, um, that there is an imperative to get the finance bill through uh, and that uh, setting the date, election date for the 11th of March allows that bill to, to be dealt with for the provisions of the, uh, of the budget to be given legal effect. Uh, and for the new government, well, if you like to come in with a, with a clean slate. Oh, I'm sure a new government might like to come in not having to actually face up to the serious, serious uh, number of decisions that this government have sought to impose, including the finance bill that gives effect to the budgetary measures introduced on the 7th of December. I have it to say that if the Greens really wanted to serve the national interest, they would allow for a general election now, allow for the people to make a decision and for a mandate to be given to a new government that will hopefully adopt a new direction, a new approach in addressing the fiscal and economic challenges that we face as a people today. Grievin O'Quayle on there, we'll leave it. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you, us. Brian.